Welcome back. This is inspiration for an elegant week. Monday morning feels like the perfect time to take a look at what we anticipate at the beginning of every week. And we know that both bad and good things may happen, but we human beings have a tendency to focus on where things go wrong. And whether things are good or bad is often a matter of our perception. Ten years ago, I fell off a galloping horse and landed on my back on very hard ground. At this time, I was using the riding as a distraction as I was suffering from a broken heart. As I flew through the air, I knew I'd been stopped in my tracks. It was a very hot day and I was going to get sunstroke if I didn't move. I was miles from the barn and no one was going to hear me if I called for help, so I tried to get to my feet. The pain was so intense that I could only get to my knees, so I crawled for a long way to find a road. I was practically born on the back of a horse and riding had always been a very important part of my life. And this marked the end of it. It turned out that I'd broken my back. It took three months for my vertebrae to mend, and that's a lot of time to fill. I remembered that when I was discharged from the ER, the doctor had given me a piece of paper with additional instructions, and one of them was to read Carolyn Mace's The Anatomy of the Spirit. I couldn't fathom why a doctor would recommend a book, but I thought I might as well give it a try. The very first thing I learned was the importance of not blaming others and taking responsibility for your own life. This day changed my life completely. She helped me to understand that how you perceive things alters your attitude and your attitude is something you can take full responsibility for, even when you're flat on your back. I'd been presented with a choice, to focus on the good side or become victimized by the bad side. And making the choice to be positive sowed the seeds for exploring inner elegance. We have no control over many of the good and bad things that happen all the time, but it's perspective and attitude that changes things. With a more mature perspective, we can be more creative and proactive in how we deal with our lives and less reactive and victimized. And we can have a greater understanding that not all things that present themselves as good or bad are necessarily all that. When English celebrity chef Jamie Oliver introduced nutritious food into British schools, there was a backlash from parents who responded to the unhappy children by handing them junk food through the school fence. To the parents and the children, a bad thing was happening. But statistics now show that one in four people in the United Kingdom are obese. When apparently bad things happen, keep a lookout for what the possible gifts might be, even if they're not obvious at the time. They often manifest later. One of my relatives met the love of his life in hospital, where she'd help nurse him back to health after a long illness. A friend of mine recently had her manuscript turned down and was offered a great deal by another, even better publishing house the following day. And the only job I've ever been fired from led to the offer of a much better job within a few days. It helps with perspective, I find, to run the bad event down a timeline to get an idea of how important it really is in the long run. The next time something bad happens, ask yourself, is this really going to matter to me tomorrow? And it also helps us gain perspective when we give up trying to find reasons for why bad things happen. Our egos demand reason, but the universe doesn't work that way. 
try to trust the process. This helps to alleviate unproductive anxiety. Thank you for watching. And remember that the only reason I can explore these thoughts with you is as a direct result of something happening to me that seemed like a very bad thing at the time. This week, I would suggest to you to take a deep breath when something seemingly bad happens. Keep things in perspective and navigate events with a balanced mind, body and spirit. Have an elegant and peaceful week.